Uh huh. Huh? Yeah. Have you ever looked up from since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities, His eternal power, and divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood from what has been made, so that men are without excuse. You see the sun, you see the moon. You see the stars. Yeah. You see everything work in position. It's, it's, it's like if you had 10 pennies. And you numbered every penny. Mm. From 1 to 10. You marked on there. 1 to 10. And you put those 10 pennies in your pocket. Okay? All in your pocket together. And you stick your hand in your pocket. Uh -huh. The chances that you'll pull out the penny with the 1 on it. Is one in one hundred. Hmm. I mean, I mean, well, not one in one hundred, but one in ten. One out of ten that you'll pull that up, that number one penny. You stick that same penny back in your pocket for you to pick out two is one, and I believe you go to a hundred, you know, one in a hundred that you pull out two. You put it back in, and then you pull out two. Then you pull it back in, and you pull out three. Then you put it back in, and it ain't gonna happen like that. Because this world was not just made by chance. That's why God said he made it plain. The way you can look at all of the hearts, it's night right now. But you know what? It's going to be morning. Light in the morning. Mm -hmm. It's going to be light again. Amen. Then it's going to go back down. And you know the seasons? You know how uh, man Jenny was talking about this morning? He said the seasons, you know man knows it's going to be winter, spring, summer, fall. Now, you you make songs about it, am I right? Amen. Is that it? Winter, spring, summer, fall. Winter, spring, summer, fall. Uh, the Big Dipper is Amen. the Big Dipper still in place? <laughs> or did somebody move it? Mm. Huh? Is the world spinning on its axle? Just as God has it spinning? Mm -hmm. The man can't do that. Man can't do that. Man can't do that. Ain't nobody. We used to watch cartoons. We used to have the little Martian in space, like, I'm going to destroy the world and try to, you know, no, this ain't no cartoon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ain't no man running that. Mm -hmm. His invisible powers. He done all of this. Mm -hmm. And now, that's why he said he made it plain. Mm -hmm. For any man to see that and not seek out who done that, that's wicked. That's, that's, you, ain't, you ain't even seeking. That's right. That's that's a, that's like a a person that say I'm um I'm dumb. They never pick up a book and read it. Hmm. You know <laughs> that, that, that's that's you ain't even seeking for um to be to know anything. Right. That's that's a bad place that you're going down. You're going down. God said I made it clear so that you ain't gonna have no excuses. Some people attest to it as it's a higher power. Mm -hmm. It's a higher power. It's a higher power. If you know it's a higher power, you better try to get with that power. Mm -hmm. But I'm here to tell you, the power is God. The God Amen. of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. Amen. History has revealed over and over mm -hmm. when they went to the children of Israel and said, we know your God. We know how your God take care of y'all. Yeah. We know who your God is. Amen. And it's the same way they tell you when you're living for Christ. And you got the peace of God that passes all understanding that keep your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. You'll be his witness. When I ask you, you know the right. peace lips you, that go out? Oh my God! What am I do? Mm -hmm. That's right. But if you got God, yeah. you don't got to go jump off the bridge. <laughs> you don't have to go jump Speak off the well. bridge. If you got this um... Mortgage that they're saying they're about to foreclose on your house. You don't gotta um, go take your little paycheck and get some dope and flip it. Man. You don't gotta do that. Praise you don't gotta do Lord. that. Thank take you those Jesus. penitentiary chairs. You talking about being out of your house? Mm. How about being away from your family? Amen. And then your family got to struggle to put money on your books. Mm. Huh? Mm -hmm. That's when you start going down. Right. When you suppress the truth. Right. And God made it plain right before you that there is a God somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Up above my head, I hear music in the air. There must be a 
our God somewhere. Hallelujah. 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 He said it been Thank clearly you, seen. Lord. So there'll be no excuse. So don't brag out on God when God say, because some people get mad at God. Well, how can he just destroy us? Because we don't believe in him. Mm. Because he can just destroy you. Mm -hmm. Because you don't believe in him. Right. You're suppressing the truth. And you're on your way down. Mm -hmm. For although they knew God, they neither glorified him as God, nor gave thanks to him. But their thinking became futile. And their foolish hearts were darkened. Because that when they knew God, they know it was God somewhere, y'all. When you look mm -hmm. up, you can see it. They glorified him not as God. Mm -hmm. Neither were they thankful mm -hmm. that God made all these things. Yeah. But became vain in their imaginations. Their thoughts became wicked. Their imagination, their thinking, they became idle in their thinking. And their foolish hearts were darkened. Mm. That's like somebody sitting there looking like this. Mm. After God has showed everything, they refuse to seek to seek it out. Who made it? What what is the truth of it? And I was I was explaining how um, when we were little, Tanya, man, you the same age, baby, forty two is in the house, forty three. Hey. But anyway, <laughs> we yeah, we youngsters, youngsters. But we had things in um in, in science class where we had projects to do. Where you can enter the big old science fair. Right? That's what it was. What's that the name of it, Tracy? The science fair. The science fair. I remember the science fair. And boy, we used to be with our projects. I said, I want to do the planets. I want to do all the planets. You know where they, you put them under the balls and the little circles that go around on the hanger. And you big time. Now, boy, I remember at home just painting them balls, paint my sun. I got my Saturn. I got my big old colorful marble called Jupiter. I got, um, help me with some more planets, Venus, mm -hmm. we got that hot in Mars, and the last one was what? What was the last planet? It was Pluto. It was Pluto. The last, and they said in our science class, the smallest planet, Pluto, a little cold planet. That's, a, that's the feeling I got of Pluto, because it was all the way out there by itself. Mm -hmm. Lonely old Pluto. But we are now in the year of 2013. Mm. And I believe they found more planets, haven't they? Yeah, it is strong, right? Yeah, the universe, the universe, they say, <laughs> they can't explain it. They say that the universe is getting bigger. It's getting bigger. The universe is getting bigger. bigger. It's not getting bigger. It's bigger than you know what it is. Just like God is far in the heavens above, oh, yeah. looking down on little old feeble earthlings, looking over the perimeter like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> just like in the olden days when they say we are going to build a tower to get all the way up to God. Uh -huh. They knew He was God. They knew He was a God up there, <laughs> and they wanted to get up to Him. So they start building this tower called Babel. Babel. That's where we get the word from, Babylon. The Tower of Babel. They're going to build this tower. And those were some smart guys back then, y'all. They still got some, some things right now that they can't explain how they were built, how they were erected, how they were put up. They had some smart guys back then that started on this construction project called the Tower of Babel. That we're going to get all the way up to God. And they start building that thing, y'all. They start building. They start building to where they got so high up. And God said, I'm going to stop them. <laughs> they trying to get up here to me. I'm going to stop them. I'm going to stop them. And that's where all these different languages come from. That's where the different languages come from, Jesse. No, they couldn't get that close. They were just going. You know, God looked at us like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Look at you. The scientists, all the theologies they got right now, all the theories and stuff, and all the, you know, even the man that said we came from monkeys, Darwin's theory, he's like, man, that, that's, not, that's, a, that's a bunch of crap. That ain't true. And man, like, no, it's not. We're still going to explore more. And he told him, man, I, it was a flop. It wasn't the truth. Big Bang Theory and all this stuff they got out right now, trying to say that it was just happened by chance. They were building that Tower of Babel, y'all. The men were going up there, and God said, I'll, 
I, I know what I'll do. I'll, I'll switch all the communication up. Boom! Tell where they started talking Chinese and um, Portuguese. Italian, Portuguese. Ah, okay. And then I uh, read Greek, Hebrew, and all these different languages. All these different languages where they started speaking all of the different languages. And you uh, used to ask a man, oh, hand me that hammer up here. And somebody sent him a nail. Oh, they think I'm like, what? What the? What the? What the? What the? What the? What the? <laughs> and that's how they could, they could, they, it was called a Tower of Babel. They had to stop. Mm -hmm. They didn't have unity no more in the speech. Mm -hmm. And they couldn't understand one another. Mm -hmm. yes. And the men are still the same way right now. Amen. Thinking that, they, that the world is expanding. The universe is expanding as we go on and on. You big dummies. And that's what God called them. Thinking they were wise. They became fools, morons. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what God said. Look, he said, for although they knew God, they neither glorified God, nor they glorified him, nor gave thanks to him. They neither glorified him or gave thanks to him, but became vain in their imaginations, an idle mind is a devil workshop, and their foolish hearts were darkened. We are going down. The mankind, he said, professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. How many of y'all on Facebook? How many of y'all on Facebook? Do y'all ever um, look in on some of the things people be talking about that don't believe in God? Huh. They don't believe in God. And it seems like they they speak with some wise, seem like the wisest words, big words, and all kind of theories and stuff mm -hmm. on how this came about and that came about. Sitting there with their little idle mind, the devil is looking for somebody. That he could take over their mind. Mm -hmm. And he put all these empty theories mm -hmm. in their right. minds. When the man's mind became vain, with vain imaginations, and their hearts were darkened, instead of accepting what God done, yeah. they tried to make up in their minds how it all came about. <laughs> and I believe it was a big bang. That's how it all started. <laughs> it was a big bang. God didn't create man. Adam wasn't the first man. We came from monkeys. Monkeys. Hmm. Vain imagination. Mankind going down. Hmm. Professing on, themselves to be wise though. And some of us can be fooled and duped because they come with all this verbiage. That's what I call it, verbiage, where they can speak well. Like they got so much wisdom. But my brother, let me tell you. <laughs> that's the book from the white man. Yeah. To hold you down. To put you in slavery. To hold you back. The Bible gives us freedom. Amen. Any man that be in Christ, he is free indeed. Ain't nothing holding the man of God and the woman of God down. We are children of the most high God. Nothing suppress us Amen. and hold us down. Thank you, Lord. We are entwined mm -hmm. with the way, the truth, and the life. Back to Father God. Amen. How can I be held down mm. with no weapon formed against me? Shall prosper. Amen. Glory to God. Y'all understand this? Mm -hmm, that's good. How Rick. precious it is. Yes, it is. To hold the truth. Yes. My God. And how foolish it is to be wise and against God. So in thinking about like they got wisdom, I'll be wanting to put that on so many people's pages. Profession mm -hmm. themselves to be wise. Mm -hmm. They became fools. Okay? Mm -hmm. And change the glory of God, the glory of the uncorruptible God, unto image. Made like unto corruptible man. First they made. They, they changed the glory of God. That's the worship. They changed the worship of the uncorruptible God. Mm -hmm. The immortal God. They changed from worshiping God. The uncorruptible. To worshiping men. Mm -hmm. The corruptible. Mm -hmm. 
Y'all know, I'm, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Your body, you know, without God, you know, a living soul, you're just, you know, you're gone. you out of there. That's right. You're nothing. That's right. You can't worship me. I'm here today and gone tomorrow. Hmm. You can't worship me. And that's when men start worshiping themselves as God. So after you died, your 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 throne it was it was it was gone, huh? Mm. <laughs> you worshiping themselves. That's what men do right now, y'all. Amen. Uh, they men worship themselves. That's the that's going down now. The first thing they did was suppress the truth. The second thing they did was start worshiping themselves. Mm. They changed the glory of God, the worship to God, to worship their own. Selves. Mm -hmm. They started worshiping themselves. They stopped worshiping God and they start worshiping themselves. How does that sound like our society today? That um you don't want to they you don't want to please God. Hmm. They don't want to please God. They don't care about pleasing God, mm -hmm. but they care about pleasing men. Yeah. That's right. You see how society, right. you see, you see how the spiral is going mm -hmm. down? You suppress you suppress the truth now, and you don't care about you after you suppress the truth, you're on your way down. <laughs> You don't care about worshiping God, pleasing God. Mm -hmm. You don't care about pleasing yourself. It's about me, myself, and I. And that's why it's a danger, y'all, because even people in the church, you say you love God, but you 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 stuck on pleasing yourself. Mm -hmm. Self pleasures are more important than pleasing God. Speak well, preacher. Sex feel good. Mm. Sex feels good. Mm. It's pleasurable. Come on now. But God said. If you're not married, it's not you're not supposed to be having sex. Amen. But some people can't compute that in their minds. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, no. I got to get my swirl on. I got to get my groove on. Hallelujah. Mm. It don't compute. It don't even compute in their minds. But they say we love God. Right. God said if you love me, you obey me. Amen. You're going to please me. Amen. You ain't going to turn the pleasure to yourself. That's right. And try to worship yourself. Amen. Your worship is going to be for me. Amen. And I demand it. That's why I created you to worship me. What Worship me in truth. Mm -hmm. In spirit. Amen. Worship Amen. me with your whole heart. Amen. All you got. Amen. I want your worship. Amen. I want your worship. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. But man start going down. When they start pleasing themselves mm -hmm. instead of pleasing God. You see that the truth? First the truth. And then it start going down, pleasing themselves. And look at man, how it, how, how, how it drops. Look how it drops, y'all. Look at your Bible. They change the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man. And then they drop from man to the birds, like statues of a bird. Statues of a bird now. Mm -hmm. He's a great eagle. <laughs> and we worship. Okay, they, they, y'all got your Bibles up, yes, huh? Yes, sir. Come from on, the corruptible man to birds. Mm -hmm. From the birds that fly free in the air to four-footed beast. Mm -hmm. Y'all remember Aaron and when Moses knew was uh, Moses went up to the mountains to do the Ten Commandments, yes, the Ten Commandments to meet with God. Mm -hmm. And then they say, oh, Moses been gone too long. Hmm. Where's Moses? He been gone too long. Where's he at? He ain't coming back. And what we do? They say, bring me all your gold. Bring me all your gold. And they brought all the gold and they created a golden calf. Y'all remember that? Mm -hmm. They created that four-footed beast, that golden calf, where they all was around making a whole bunch of noise, worshiping the calf and stuff. Oh, golden calf. Oh, golden calf. Tell us which way to go. Tell us what to do. Show us the way, oh golden calf, four footed beast. And Moses came down from the mountain with all the commandments of God and the way of life and stuff. And wondering what's all that noise. God said, What's all that noise, Moses? I don't know what's going on with your people. What's going on with your people? You see how men go down? Yeah. What's going on with your people, Amen. man? Came down there and they was worshiping the golden calf. <laughs> That's when he broke those ten commandments. Throw them down. Mm -hmm. These people, golly, man, it's no, it ain't no help for these people, man. Mm -hmm. These people God. are crazy. That's how man start going down. But check this out. They went a little bit lower. The, the, they went a little bit lower. You got your Bible open? Yes, sir. 
They went from the man to the birds to the four for the beast to the what? Creeping That's the creeping things. Do you know what the creeping things are? They are the ones that crawl the lowest on the earth. The little creeping things, the snakes that just creep around on the ground, the little ants and the little roaches and stuff that creep down on it. You can't even get up on a rock you know, you stop. Your, your place is on the ground, creeping things. They went all the way down to serving creeping things. <laughs> Wherefore God gave them now they, they, they went a little bit lower. They went a bit lower. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanliness through lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Now they went, y'all, and they got to where they went all the way down from serving and creeping things, from suppressing the truth to serving, worshiping man, worshiping birds, worshiping creeping, I mean, four footed bees, worshiping creeping things to worship and to define their own bodies. Their own sense of self was gone. Hmm. They had no morals. They had nothing. They said in all that they done, he said, wherefore God gave them up to uncleanliness. Therefore God gave them over to into sinful desires of their hearts to sexual impurity for degrade, the degrading of their bodies with one another. They didn't even know that, how to handle themselves with one another, y'all. Hmm. They didn't know how to handle them. That all the fornication and all this stuff started taking place. Everything got impure when God said you're supposed to be married. Amen. You're supposed to be together. And you see the downfall of mankind, y'all. You know what? It seems like sometimes the downfall of mankind, it'd be like a child, a disobedient child growing up. Hmm. Because they so it's train up a child when they're young. And when they grow old, they won't go, go apart. That's you're right. training up. You're doing all that you can for your child to bring them up, bring them up in the admonition of the Lord. But then when they grow up and they want to be disobedient and start going their own way, doing their own things, you know, they're going away from God, they go into all of this mess. Mm -hmm. First they say, I don't want to please God. I'm, I'm just like the, um, the prodigal son. Daddy give me all mine. I want to go do my thing. And that's what he did. Mm -hmm. He went out and started pleasing himself. He went out and got caught up in all kind of different stuff That's that he right. didn't have no business in, y'all. Mm -hmm. And all these bad things brought him to a bad place. And that's what happened with mankind away from God, okay? Amen. Therefore, God gave them over to their sinful desires and their, heart, and their hearts to sexual impurity for the degrading of their bodies with one another. They has changed the truth of God for a lie and worshiped and served the created things rather than the creator. Who is forever praised. Amen. Amen. I'm telling y'all, we talking about the dynamite where Paul was ready to go preach the gospel. And he was saying that the truth of God was revealed in righteousness and in wrath. Mm -hmm. And this is why God's wrath was coming. For the people that suppressed the truth, wanted to worship themselves. And then they got so immoral, they started dwindling in sexual impurities, degrading their own bodies. Even when you, I found out, if you really love somebody and you're not married to them, even if you're not married, you don't have a husband or wife, you don't sleep with that person. Because if you have sex with that person, you, you're degrading their bodies. If you really love them, you'll wait for them. Amen. True love waits for real. Amen. Because you know what he said, that only when you have sex with one another, you're torturing each other's souls. And you're not married. You're tearing each other's souls up. Mm -hmm. And that's what they gave them over. Mm -hmm. And that's what it started at, y'all. That's where it started. It starts with fornication. Mm -hmm. It starts with being sexual promiscuous and, you know, doing different things. People wonder how all this stuff come about that we're seeing right now, talking about homosexuality. Check out how low it's going to go from there, okay? Mm -hmm. He said, because of this, God gave them over to shameful lust. Even their women is changed natural relations for the unnatural ones. <laughs> it's going down lower now. Mm -hmm. Women... Started liking women. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, but in my time, you remember the strip, like we say, the strip clubs, yes, you know? Mm -hmm. When girls used to be strippers, you know, they used to go in and they start stripping and they used to have to have a drink, you know, to kind of get their buzz on, to get their courage up, to go out and shake that thing, you know? And that's how it was. That's how it was. They, they were little tender girls and, you know, they was, um, you know, they, they wasn't just used to going in front of a crowd and showing their body and stuff, but then they get their drink in them and then... You know, they were able to go there. And people used to have their girlfriends, you know, sometimes, you know, but we need a little money, you know. And they go in, you know, they start being strippers and stuff and friends, you know. Girl, I'll watch you back, you know what I'm saying, with all the money. And then they go, but then it's like 
the strip club, the girls started turning all of them to each other. Mm -hmm. They started turning on to love one another. They they didn't want a man no more. They didn't need a pimp no more. They started pimping each other. Hmm. And that's society right now. Mm -hmm. And then all these girls started, you know, they didn't want them, they didn't need a man no more. They had each other. And that's how the world, society, starts going down. That's right. Now we talked about men that suppressing God, suppressing the truth of God, mm -hmm. start worshiping themselves, pleasing themselves, start worshiping the birds, statues and stuff that they made, try to make them like God, start worshiping four-footed beasts, started worshiping creeping things, and God gave them all they're going. Farther and farther down. Amen. And sexual impurity, fornication and stuff. And then it got to where women start being with the women. Y'all see that in your Bibles? Uh -huh. Verse 26. Unnatural relations. The women has changed natural relations for unnatural ones. They got way outside of the way God created things. He created Adam to be with Eve. He created Eve to be with Adam. But without God, everything just jumped out haywire. They have no direction anymore. Amen. He Amen. said, on, in the man. same way, the men also abandoned natural relations with the woman and were inflamed with lust for one another. Instead of being with their wives and a, a woman that they should be with, a married woman in a marriage relationship, they started looking at each other like, <laughs> you must have shown your about you. <laughs> Unnatural. That ain't right. That ain't right before God. Homosexuality is wrong. Even if Joel Osteen didn't want to say it, I said it because the Bible said it. It's wrong. It's not the be your best life. It ain't no life at all. Okay. It's a life apart from God, Amen. away from God. Amen. Amen. But God sent His Son to show the right way to go. But also revealed his wrath for those who would be ungodly and unrighteous. Amen. Okay? Amen. They, don't, they don't mix, y'all. They don't mix. That's right. Men committed indecent acts with other men and received in themselves the due penalty for their perversion. Hmm. Y'all, God is not playing with this stuff. His wrath is coming. And it was revealed to everything that's ungodly and unrighteous. It's saying that you get away from God and you fall into all of this ungodliness and this unrighteousness and his wrath is coming. Furthermore, since they did not think it worthwhile to retain the knowledge of God, he gave them over to a depraved mind to do what ought not to be done. Since they thought it wasn't worthwhile, y'all, mm -hmm. to have God in their knowledge. Yeah. Oh, uh, he ain't worth it though, to believe in all God and, you know, and there is no God. There is no hell. There is no, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They start saying all of this stuff. There is no, there is no, it's just on, let's live for today. That singer said it. What is that, that rock saying, that lady saying, let's die young or whatever. Mm. Live for today, die young. It's some song out there right now. Furthermore, since they did not think it worthwhile. Even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, they did not like him interfering in their lives. They did not like for God to say what it was. They didn't want to hear what God had to say. They did not.